The Colorado Springs nightclub shooter, uh, who is insisting that they're non-binary. Ha ha ha! I've never heard of 4chan. What's that? Then anyway, their father was interviewed by a local news station. And I just want to say this. I'm going to foreground with this. This is a groomer. Now, again, we have a lot of fucking... Uh, you know, a lot of people want to say groomer this, groomer that, you're a groomer, groomer, groomer. Now, again, what is the dictionary definition of a groomer? Someone that either engages in a sexual relationship or a semi-sexual relationship with plausible deniability with someone under the age of the age of consent. Some states or some countries are 16, you know, it's usually 18, um, with the intent to engage in a sexual relationship once they reach the legal age of consent, therefore not violating any laws technically. Now, again, the right wing, they have thrown that definition out the window. They threw the definition out the window. So I say it's fair game. Any, if someone reading a book to a child is grooming, well, then so is this. Let's watch. Well, you guys had had conversations about that. You, you were. Oh yeah, so uh, you, you, you I was adamant. Him, yeah, you were adamant that gay is bad. I was adamant. I am yeah. a Mormon. I'm a conservative Republican, and we don't do gay. We don't do yeah. gay. We don't do gay. Yeah. I can't get answers from the attorneys really, but they're saying that some of these you know, it's involving a gay bar or some shit. I don't know. Um, I don't know what the heck you do. We have a gay bar. Um, I don't know what's going on. Well, he's accused of going on a mass shooting at a gay bar and killing five people. Colorado. Okay, well, well, I saw shit. I'm accused of doing that. I, I, I'm not gay. I don't know what the heck. Did you hear that? I know it's kind of hard to understand what he's saying through the meth mouth, but what he is saying is that Whatever, mass shooting, as long as he's not gay. That's what he said. Ah, fuck it. Killed a bunch of people for being gay. That's fine. As long as he is not gay. Now, again, we have thrown the original definition of grooming out the window. So, if someone reading a book to a class of, like, kindergartners or first graders is grooming, then... Telling your child that being gay is bad their entire life, and then when they're 22 years old, they go and murder a bunch of gay people because they're gay, that's grooming. This man, on your screen right here with the motion blur and the meth mouth, groomed his own child into becoming a mass murderer. Now again, what did he say? We're Republicans, we're Mormons, we don't do gay. He would rather his kid be a mass murderer and a terrorist then be gay if this is not grooming when there's more against homosexuality i praised him for violent behavior really early i still say that it works it is in, it's instant and, it, and you'll get immediate results and you'll always give you one you're good at fighting had you taught him more tolerance, let me no. be direct. Do you think, uh, you know, it, he would have been more tolerant of gay people? Apparently. I think that my anti-gay, anti-schmatic, uh, they call conservative, uh, right, I'm conservative, extraordinaire. And I've been very vocal about that. It was, uh, I support Randy Vopel for his grandpa. I love Randy Vopel. A good American, hopefully he'll be president someday. Um, Randy who? Uh, Randy Vopel. Oh, Randy. Randy. Vopel. Randy. That's a good man right there. That's a that's the best man for the job. Mm -hmm. uh, it was okay to be gay. You know, it's like he says, it's like it's cool to be gay. It's not. It's, I, I think it's not cool at all. I think it's um. My, my opinion about gays is it's just not okay. People should stand up against homosexuality. I praised him for. Notice this. Gays is it, it's just not okay. People should stand up against homosexuality. We should. So again, from a very early age, this mass murderer's father taught them to be violent and taught them to hate, I should be very specific, taught him to be violent and taught him to hate gay people. From a very early, he says it himself. Can you imagine this fucking shit? This is like, this is cartoon character stuff. This is crazy.
the mass murderer's father is proud of his son for going on a murder spree as long as he wasn't gay. And they say that on TV. Oh, my kid killed a bunch of gay people. Great. As long as he's not gay himself. Now, I need you to understand. This is what Republicans are. A lot of Republicans, they cloak their feelings. This guy, again, he's not cloaking his feelings. He doesn't care. He is saying what he believes and he's proud of his son. He is proud. He is proud. He taught his son to kill. He trained his son to kill. And he trained his son to collect targets and to find targets to kill. And he is proud of him. This is the Republican Party. When Republicans talk about bringing back the family, when Republicans talk about traditional family values and structure, this is is what they inflict on their children. This is what creates people like Kyle Rittenhouse and all these other mass shooters that we've been seeing. This is the culture that they are born and raised in. Violence from an early age, violence and hatred of minorities. This is fucking crazy. Now, again, there's a full interview you can watch. It's a little longer. There's some other nuggets in there. Um, but again, this is who we're dealing with. This is the Republican Party. Now, again, all the faults of the Democratic Party, most Democrats don't teach their children to love violence and hate minorities. Some of them do, or one, a lot of Democrats maybe teach their children to hate minorities. They won't say, hey, maybe gay people are evil, but they'll say, eh, as long as you're not gay. You know, Democrats also can be garbage, but this is Republicans. This is the Republican party. This guy, again, is proud of his child for committing a mass shooting of queer people. This is grooming. This man had a child, groomed that child into becoming a terrorist. If you have a Republican in your family, stay away from them. If you have a child and there's a Republican in your family, don't let your child near them. This is the Republican party. These are groomers. These are evil and sick fucks. And I would be remiss if I mentioned, if I didn't mention the religion. This is religion. This is what religion does. Conservatism is a religion, but also he's Mormon. This is what a religion does to people. This is what religious indoctrination does. Mormonism, evil. Christianity, evil. Islam, evil. Judaism, evil. They're all fucking garbage. This is what religion does. Don't fuck me with your stupid- Oh, but not all Mormons. Nah. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. I don't want to listen to you enable monsters that target me and my kinds of people. People like me. We have been targeted by religious people forever. Forever. Not just for decades, but for centuries. Religious people have tried and succeeded in exterminating people like me. Forever. We have been exterminated from history. Why do you think People get confused. What's with all this gay stuff? Back in my day, there wasn't gay. We didn't have gay people in the 80s and the 70s. We didn't have the gays. People actually believe that. What's with all this trans stuff? When I was growing up, we didn't have the trans. Imagine this. 
Now again, I, never mind. But just again, the us trans people, gay people, have been systematically excised from history. We've always been here. We've always been around. You can find evidence in some cultures. There are some things that have stayed, right? You know, like there, there are some historical accounts of like 10,000, 15,000 years ago of uh, transgender people existing and being revered or, or being, you know, like, uh, wow, this is a really interesting thing of, you know, again, homosexuality was actually pretty popular in uh, ancient Greece and so forth, right? But you see, that's a long fucking time ago. There's like a 5,000 year gap in queer history. How did that happen? Religion. Religion. That's how that happened. God. The God people. They, they have exterminated people like us for thousands of years. And they have rewritten history so that people alive today think that this is a new thing. And if it's new, it must be bad. Now, again, a lot of people, a lot of the free speechers love to use Nazi book burning analogies. You know that famous photo of the uh, book burning by the Nazis in the 1930s? What books were being burned? One of the first book burnings by the Nazi party and their supporters was from transgender and gay research clinics, medical clinics that would provide research and healthcare to people that were gay or transgender. Nazis targeted them, destroyed all of their research, destroyed all of the information that they had gained, and that is the photo. When you think of the photo, I know everyone in this chat, everyone on the internet has seen this photo of the Nazis in the circle with the stack of books on fire. What are those books? Transgender and gay medical science and research. Their goal was to exterminate us from history. Nazis, when they gained power in the 1930s, they would go on expeditions all across the world you might not know this. This is somewhat forgotten history, okay? They wouldn't just do book burnings in Germany. They went all across the world to gather and collect religious artifacts, historical artifacts, and in doing so, destroyed significant amounts of historical artifacts. Now, again, we don't know what they destroyed. Why? Because they destroyed it. Could they? We know for a fact that they burned the books about gay and trans people. We know that for a fact. So it's not much of a speculatory leap to assume that when they did go, we know for a fact that they went on international crusades to collect historical artifacts and to destroy certain historical artifacts. So it's not much of a stretch to assume that they would have done that with gay and trans history. And this is what we're still dealing with. This is a neo-Nazi. This person's entire ideology is in lockstep, or should I say in goose step, with the Nazis of the 1930s and 40s. These are Nazis. Republicans are Nazis. That's it. If you have a Republican in your family, I don't care. Baby, population, goddamn Trump's gonna save the working class. Whatever excuse they come up with, they are a Nazi. I'm sorry. Actually, no, I'm not sorry. Yes, every single Republican is a Nazi. If you are in a room with 10 Nazis, you yourself do not identify as a Nazi, but all of your friends are Nazis. They support Nazi policies. They support a Nazi agenda. If there's nine Nazis in a room and one non-Nazi in a room, how many Nazis do you have in that room? You got 10 motherfucking Nazis. Every single, without exception, there is no exception. Now, maybe if you would have asked me 10 years ago, theoretically, hypothetically, I could come up with one possible person that's a Republican voter and not a Nazi. That was 10 years ago. Nowadays, the only people left in the Republican Party are Nazis. 
And again, they might not identify as them, but they enable them. Hey, I'm not a Nazi. I just vote for Nazis and fund Nazis and give Nazis my time and money and energy and organize on behalf of Nazis. But I'm not totally not a Nazi, bro. So, you know, just think about that. When we talk about groomers, reminder, remember this guy when we talk about groomers. Andrew Kohler, $5, super chat. Quote, that was only a prelude. There were they there, comma, were they burn books? They burn also in the end people. Heinrich Hein, 1797, 1856, from his play, Alamansor. Thank you for the the history there. I appreciate that. But anyway, um, there should be where they burn books. Yeah, see, there you go. <laughs> Goddamn, Andrew Cole. I was thinking, am I the idiot? This is the fucking college professor fucking writing. Am I the idiot? Did I not understand? No, you're you're the, another example of Andrew Kohler super chat being, needless to say, needless to say. Hold up, hold up. I'm I'm looking for it. Hold up, hold up. No good. No good. Hey, I didn't say it. Many people are saying. <laughs> oh. 